Hello students, welcome to your and our beautiful channel Maths Nation. Maths Nations. In this video, we will continue from yesterday class 8 rational number. Yesterday I have told you comparisons by, by cross multiplication method. Today I will teach you comparisons, comparison by common denominator method. Comparison, comparison, comparison by common denominator method by common denominator by common denominator. Take an example minus 3 upon 4 and minus 5 upon 6. Here 4 and 6 are the denominators. LCM of 4 and 6 what? 12. Then convert the denominator into 12. To convert 4 into 12, multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. Then you get minus 9 upon 12, minus 5 upon 6. Convert 6 into 12, multiply both numerator and denominator by 2, you get minus 10 upon 12. Then compare the numerator, minus 9 minus 12, which is greater, minus 9 is greater than minus 10. Then this means minus 3 upon 4 is greater than minus 5 upon 6. One thing important, you can use the cross multiplication only when you can compare only 2. But when you get more more rational numbers and you have to compare, you have to write them in ascending or in descending order then you cannot use the cross multiplication method. Here you can use what? Here you can use the method of common denominator to find out which is greater or write in ascending or descending order. Or always remember students in previous class I have told you always convert it into the standard form. Then, then you can use in common denominator method or cross multiplication method. It is very important. In the standard form means never write the denominator in negative sign and always try to make it in uh, the lowest term. Okay? Then example minus comparison write in ascending order minus 3 upon 4 minus 2 upon 3, minus 5 upon 6, 7 upon 8. Okay. Here are the denominator 4, 3, 6, 8. Take the LCM of the denominator. LCM of 4, 3, 6, 8 what? LCM 24. Convert the denominator into 24. So, convert 4 into 24, you have to multiply 6. Multiply both numerator and denominator by 6. What you get? Minus 18 upon 24. Then convert 3 into 24. What? Then multiply 3 into 8. Both numerator and denominator multiply by 8. Then what you get? <coughs> Minus 16 upon 24. Then next convert 6 into 24. Then to multiply it by 4. Then multiply denominator and numerator both by 4, then what you get? Minus 20 upon 24. Then convert 8, 7 upon 9, convert 8 into 24, you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. Then what you get? 21 upon 24. Then look at the numerator, minus 18, minus 16, minus 20, 21. Then which is in, right in ascending order. First write the which is the lowest, which is the smallest number, which is the smallest in between them minus 20 upon 24 is. Then next minus 18 upon 24. Then next minus 16 upon 24. Then next 21 upon 24. What are the original? Minus 5 upon 6 is less than minus 3 upon 4 
is less than minus 2 upon 3 is less than 7 upon 8. Understands how can we represent in ascending or descending order by the method of common denominator method. Then next representation of rational number on the real line. Suppose you have to represent example example you have to represent half and minus half in the number line. First take a line mark the midpoint as 0 then then left side is for negative right side is for positives minus half is between 0 and minus 1 and half is between 0 and 1 minus 1 upon 2 is bit the midpoint of 0 and minus 1 this is minus half then 1 upon 2 half is between 0 and 1 this is midpoint ok. Then, then the next, next example to be clear we have take the next example represents 13 upon 5 and minus 13 upon 5 in the number line. Look at here these are improper form at first convert it into mixed convert it into mixed what 2 whole 3 upon 5 this is minus 2 whole 3 upon 5 means this is between positive sides 2 and 3 and this is between minus 2 and 3 take a number lines mark at the midpoint as 0 then take 1 2 3 minus 1 again 2 minus 3 as I told you left side is for negative right side is for positives 1 2 and 3 then this is between 2 and 3 then what is denominator denominator is 5 means between 2 and 3 divide it into 5 equal parts into 5 equal parts into 5 equal parts then where is 3 by 5? 1, 2, 3. This is the and in the negative the same thing is for negative minus 2 minus 3 divide minus 2 and minus 3 into 5 equal parts and take the third point 1, 2 the third point 5 part divide it into 5 parts 5 equal parts then mark the third point 1, 2, 3 this is minus 2, 3 upon 5 ok clear then next the properties of rational number the properties of rational number first properties properties of rational number number then property 1 what closure property property 1 closure property what is closure property if a by b and c by d both are rational numbers then a by b plus c by d must be a rational number this is closure property rational number satisfies the property of closure property take an example 1 upon 2 is a rational number 2 upon 3 is also a rational number then 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 plus 2 upon 3 what 6 is the lcm then 3 plus 4 what is this this is 7 upon 6 7 upon 6 is also a rational number 7 upon 6 satisfies all the properties of rational number <coughs> means rational number satisfies the closure property then property 2 what is the property property 2 is the commutative property property 2 is the commutative property commutative property means a by b 
and c by d are both rational numbers then a by b plus c by d is equal to c by d plus a by b. Take an example be clear about this property. Suppose 1 upon 2 and 3 upon 4 are two rational numbers then 1 upon 2 plus 3 upon 4 what we get 4 is the LCM then 2 plus 3 this is 5 upon 4 then the right side 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2 then 4 is the LCM 3 plus 2 this is 5 upon 4 LHS is equal to RHS means Com, uh, rational number satisfies the properties commutative property. What is commutative property? A plus A upon B plus C upon D is equal to C upon D plus A upon B. Clear about the commutative properties? Then next what? The next associative properties. Next associative properties. Property 3 associative properties. If A by B, C by D e by f are three are three rational numbers then what then a by b plus c by d plus e by f is equal to a by b plus c by d plus e by f then take a simple examples to understand this minus 2 upon 3 5 upon 7 1 upon 6 then minus 2 upon 3 plus 5 upon 7 plus 1 upon 6 must be equal to minus 2 upon 3 plus 5 upon 7 5 upon 7 plus 1 upon 6. Okay. In next class I will teach about what is property 4, property 5. This is this much is for today. Students, please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming videos and press the bell icon to get the no notification of the upcoming videos. Thank you students.